Sometimes you feel like a nut. Hello, farmers. Welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. Last day of summer. Uh, yep, we're kind of picking up where we left off in the last episode. Uh, picking up bales. Uh, but instead of storing them, now we get to sell some. Uh, but as you can see, since uh, we slept overnight, we're now 12 grand in the red. In the hole. Because of all the property bills, loan, interest, vehicle maintenance, whatever you want to call it at midnight. <laughs> so, it's time to make some of that cash back by selling some bales. Got a few fields to sell. The remaining of this field, and of course, our combination of fields. Which it looks like we get to go to, because I don't have enough bales in this field to fill the trailer. Uh, just take a quick look over this little knoll here to make sure nothing's there that I may have missed. But, uh, yeah, we'll get to sell some bales, get some of that money back. I don't know if we'll get back above zero today or not. Let's go in the cab here so I can see what I'm doing other than riding into hedges. There we go. Yeah, so first step this morning is uh, we're going to sell some bales. That's where we're starting because the truck's up here. Uh, but we also need to take care of the cows a little bit. They need some silage. We got some down at the BGA. But of course I need the truck to do so, and the, but the truck's up here. So first things first, we're going to sell some bales. Uh, we'll see if I can get that done before the cows need some, some silage, which I think we can do. But we need to get this farm into gear for the reasons of... Well, as you're seeing this, it's the 20th. And there's our two bales that I need. Um, which means that, you know, being come out on October 20th, uh, FS19 comes out on November 20th. So we're one month away from FS19. Can't wait to see it. I, I'm kind of excited being able to kind of make your own I think this is going to be interesting like I said in a previous episode to where we can be playing on the same map but people depending on where they put their animals it's kind of be it's going to be kind of like a different map and it's going to be interesting interesting to see how you know you actually buy land uh doing work for others but at first, it's going to be hard to get used to the mods that we have are not going to be there right away. Who knows if some of these mods could be in 19? You don't know. Like, uh, well, like the glance mod in my upper left-hand corner there that tells us basically how the animals are doing or how your workers are doing. Who knows? They may have a system like that in 19. We don't know yet. We probably will know in about three weeks' time. Uh, there will be those... Some YouTubers will get the game, obviously, before November 20th. And they'll do, like, a Let's Play on it. So we'll see some of it before it comes out. But for now, we still got FS17 and this nice map of the Pacific Northwest. And like I said this morning, we need to sell some bales. So let's see what we get for a trailer. But I also did see, though, Daggerwind posted uh, a video of how the animals are being done in 19. And I didn't make that corner. Nope. But it looks like in 19... Um... The milk will not sell automatically at midnight. They're gonna kind of milk is gonna kind of have like a spawn point like the sheep do. And yes, I am hitting the barn. Oh, just let me in. First thing in the morning, driving. My driver didn't have his coffee this morning. 
There we go. Oh, wow. We got quite a bit of money there. Almost $400 a bale today. That is really good. Okay, so we're, we're already actually above zero by a few dollars, which is great. But also, like I said in the last video, with, uh, you know, 19 getting ready to roll around, so I got a month, so we got about 15 episodes to go. It's time to kick up this farm here. To get it going. The good news on this farm right now is we pretty much have everything we need, except for I need to save 75 grand to buy some pigs. But 75 grand isn't that much. We got the fields growing food for the pigs. But we do have a million dollar loan to take care of. And we can do it by selling straw bales, apparently. <laughs> but uh, let me get going on these straw bales, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, down here with our third trailer. Isn't that nice? We went from, you know, minus 12 grand to almost 24,000. We still have about maybe half dozen bales up there in the field, but we'll get I can get those later. Uh, what's the status here? We got plenty of fuel. Oh wait, I was wanted to check this. Uh, 30,000. So it could use a load of, well, anything. Probably digestate since we got lots of it. But right now what we need to do is head on over to the cows, pick up a trailer. And then head over to the BGA, get some silage for them. And we'll top it off. I gotta empty out that silage anyways. Because the next day is, of course mold the big field uh, grass field day so <laughs> which is going to pay off lots of our loan lots and lots make sure you come to complete and full stop which I just kind of did ish cut through the parking lot not hit no cars I am thinking we'll be using the be uh, the big X and the corn header to make some chaff from our cornfield and we'll bring it over to the cows and put it in this silage bay right here so we don't have to get the our grass uh, excuse me our silage from the BGA but you can see our base food for the cows is down to two percent so they need to be taken care of today this morning at the earliest convenience. And they go through silage a lot more and need a lot more pure si uh, silage than before because I got the mod that switches the hay from uh, the silage part of it up to grass. So at least when winter comes we'll be able to give them hay because we can't feed them grass in seasons. So their health will stay up, but yeah, the silage just seems to go through really quickly because when we put the silage in there, the hay that we mixed with it, or from the BGA, that part of it, is uh, not counted towards anything, kind of, I believe. That's the way it appears that it works. Uh, I have no idea if my wheel loader is here, to be honest with you been a, about four days since I recorded the last episode but looks like the wheel loader is right here actually it's not the way I want to approach this I really want to go down the second bay and kind of park there Uh, let's see, how much do I got in here? 24,000, which I think is exactly how much they kind of need. Not exactly, but, you know, right in that ballpark of what they need. So 
So it's going to take about three buckets. Well, it's really two buckets and very little what's left. And then after we do this with the cows, we're going to probably come back here with a tanker, grab some of that digestate, and head over to the processing plant. Because I do need some fuel for that wood chipper way up at the uh, north end of the map. Because we might be clearing those trees out of that field today. I don't know why I'm trying to get to every little last bit. It's going to need another trip in there to get what's left anyways. I can't get it all in this bucket. But yeah, sometime next year in in-game season here. I'm having a hard time getting this corner piece. Uh, our loan should be paid off. That little last piece of silage sure doesn't want to load up. Bunker silo is empty. There we go. And the wheel loader can stay right here because we'll sh we should need it tomorrow to compact the grass. So let's go feed the cows and come back here and get some of that digestate and uh, do as I said just a few seconds ago. All right, cows, here you go. Do enjoy your silage. Let's we'll see, it's almost enough. I mean, it's enough to get them by for sure. Uh, they don't need no power food today. But when we do feed them power food, a little bit will go towards the silage, but not enough to where it can completely satisfy them. That's why we got to have raw silage on the side. So... Like I said, when we do the cornfield, we use the big X and we'll bring some of that chaff over to this silo bunker. So we can just grab it from here with like a bucket load of the wheel loader. Alright, make sure we hook up to the red tank. The red tank is the, the tank that puts all the, I won't say nasty stuff in it, but stuff that you wouldn't want to drink. The blue one's for water and milk, the red one's for everything else. So I'm going to go fill up a digestate, and I'll probably meet you over at the bioprocessing plant. And here we are at the bioprocessing plant, unloading 60,000 liters. And we're going to pick up well, about 1,200 liters it looks of, of diesel fuel, or fuel to bring up to the wood chipper. 
And then uh, I gotta get the John Deere and put the front loader on it, uh, put the log grab on it. Then I have to get the wood chipper that goes on the back of it up in the forestry area. And I think we're gonna take care of those trees today up in our four fields so we can make it one. I thought about doing it in the winter, but I don't want to be cutting limbs down and have them drop in the snow because I did that one year and I thought I got all the limbs and then when the snow melted I realized, uh, no, there was like three or four that I didn't grab, so... Yeah, so we may be skipping the whole winter. Well, as for what goes in the videos, I have to feed the animals and all that. But, uh, yes, yeah, so we can get right to next season. And, uh, like I said, kind of get this series going just a little bit. Because, like I said, we got about 15 more episodes to go. Which seems like, oh, well, that's a lot. But then again, it's not. There, digestate out. Fuel transport ready to go. I do not know how much fuel this wood chipper is going to take. Or how much it uses. But hopefully it's enough to get rid of all the trees that we have up there. So I'll meet you up at the wood chipper when we're ready to go. Because I got a lot of prep work still to do. Hopefully I don't waste too much time in the in game day. So yeah, I shall see you in a second. Okay, so here we are. With everything we need. And apparently the traffic is pretty impressed with the silo storage area uh, but anyways uh, as you can see straight have us the new Holland has the uh, stump grinder on it I've already done some posts to make sure everything was working fine on that and I even did the F4 things so I can make sure it's getting it from underground we got the uh, Volvo up here with the auto loading log uh, auto -load logging trailer and obviously we got the John Deere with the weight and the, uh, the log grab. So yeah, I think I forgot how many trees I said we got to cut, but we're just going to start with this one right here. Hopefully uh, I can cut it low enough. It's like right there is about as good one to get. So we'll find out how this wood chipper thing goes. So let me get to it by cutting up the first tree, then we'll see how I'll bring it back when uh, I figure out exactly what the heck I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing now, to be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, there's one tree down. <laughs> I'm just going to bring this load over. I've actually already carried like those small pieces over and uh, put them in. So yeah, you do put the logs just on this side here. I don't know how close I have to get. So let's do, uh, let's see, what side do we gotta do? Uh, unload left side all right some of those didn't quite uh, as we know those how those trees are they didn't quite unload <laughs> the way I want them to which is fine I don't know if these are gonna be too heavy Took that one. Took that one. I want to say there were seven of the hard trees that we had to do. Where's, uh, is this one even here? I already got the new Holland over. We ground up the stump. Come on. Boy, this, this one does not want to go in at all.
Hello? There it goes. Where is this limb? I can't grab it or what? Ah, these trees. I should just use a something grinder that just gets rid of it and uh, be done with it. But no, I got to try to get every little dollar that I can. See if I can unload it now. At least the auto loader was able to pick it up. That log. That log. It's like falling to the ground now. There we go. So hopefully it doesn't use too much fuel because that's all the fuel we have. That's going to town there. Leaders. We already got a good amount of lead. I don't know how much it holds, but wow, it doesn't hold that much. It's already at 34%. So, yeah. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, because this did t take me a while. I think it took me like an in-game hour at times five to do one tree. And that little mud hole, when you come in and out of here, that will spin anything around. Uh, I'll bring it back when I get down to that third, well, that last tree down there. At least the other trees in the center, those will be easier. So yeah, you can see these kind of trees are curved and all that fun stuff. So it'll take me a while, but we'll get wood chips out of it. And like I said, I, I will see you in a bit. Making some progress here. The fourth tree. The outloader's doing somewhat well uh, for these curved trees, as we always expect. I try to get what I can with the autoloader and then uh, give up a little bit and then try some. And then I get the rest with the John Deere. I'll strap those in so they don't fall out as I move over here. But I've learned a few things about that wood chipper. Uh, which I'll show you when I get up there. I have learned that, boy, it makes a lot of wood chips. Uh, <laughs> I actually had to go get the trailer because the capacity already filled up. And I have a lot in storage. I found an easier way to unload the trailer. Instead of trying to do it in the auto load way. Auto unload, maybe I should say. A lot of you probably already know but wood chips is something I never uh, got into I just figured well I might as well sell it straight up that seemed easier hopefully I don't move these limbs too far kind of wish I had the side tick side tick side panel for doing stuff like this but I don't so you probably hear my mouse going up and down on the, on the desk once in a while because, well, you got to do a lot of mouse movement. So if you hear it, I apologize. Uh, come on, I was trying to get both here. Because I'm lazy, but sometimes being lazy takes longer to do things. So yeah, I'm also going to miss... Oh, get in there. Nope, why, why would you push it out like that? Is spit it out like a kid with a pill. Um, yeah, it's like when 19 starts, a lot of the mods, like the autoloaders and all that stuff. Yeah, it's going to have to... We're going to have to get used to not having that stuff right off. Hopefully, uh, we'll learn quickly what the thing is to sell in 19. Uh, we talked, I said this before, when 15 first came out, 
I don't remember when 13 first came out. I, I bought 13 about a year after it was out. But uh, 15, 15 first came out, it was trees. Just cut trees and drag them down. Uh, trees are OP in 15 at the beginning, but they actually modified that within like the first week. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, of course it was silage in, in 15. That was a thing that you wanted to sell. And of course in 17, it appears to be wool is a thing you want to sell. Who knows what it'll be in 19. But we'll soon find out. But as for these trees, the first line of trees... I mean, it's not bad. It's only one, you know, 1.30 in the afternoon, so it hasn't taken me too long to get rid of the first four trees that are difficult ones. Actually, I'll shut the John Deere off right now. Pick this one up by hand. Now, is there anything on this side? Shouldn't be. All right, restrap those in. I'll get rid of that, that HUD. It's amazing how I don't have the F1 uh, HUD up in the upper, yeah, yeah, upper left hand corner often. And then when I do put it up, it seems like it just takes up the entire screen. So there's our trailer. The modded trailer that holds 200,000 liters. And we're probably going to need it. So if you back up your trailer up the ramp, which after I saw the ramp, I'm like, well, I bet you the ramp's there for a reason. And it just automatically takes it like that so yeah you can see how much fuel we got left uh, not much fuel left we have already gone through one third of it uh, apparently got 109,000 liters to chop up still and I have no idea what's gonna be in here because it's auto unloading into the trailer and this trailer holds 200,000 liters uh, the one thing I want to see where are the wood chips on this thing? Right here. Uh, Pacific Bio Heating Plant, which is way down the other end. Or the sawmill. But for the amount of demands I get for wood chips, I think we'll probably hang on to them because there's a great demand for it. Now watch. So because I got wood chips, I won't have any great demand for it. Let's bring this down in here. Yeah, so I got those three trees over there. Those are going to be kind of difficult. These four are, yeah, one, two, three, four trees here. Not so difficult. But I'll let, let, at least let you see me uh, stump grind these two. And then I'll get working on the other four trees. The thing is, I may actually overload that wood chipper. And we don't have a lot of fuel. And I already brought the tanker down to the moo cows. So if it needs more fuel, this have they'll just have to wait. The main thing is trying to get this field somewhat ready to merge into one. And this field is not, even though it shows it's ready to harvest, it's not ready for harvest. Neither is our soybean field, and of course the corn and the sugar beet won't be ready until mid-fall. Don't let this be a stump I can't grind up. I'll be really... I'll be one sad peanut. There we go. The previous map I played on, I had some problems cutting some of the stumps out. Come on, I see that little wood chip there. I gotta get rid of it somehow. Don't make me pick it up and have to put it in the trailer. Looks like I'll have to. I can pick it up though, right? Yeah, you can pick it up. I'll put it next to the new Holland so I'll know it's there. So, I'm gonna get working on 
these uh, four trees right here. And uh, then we'll have to stump grind these down. I can, I can cut some of these down. When I did those, I had to do it in three sections with a stump grinder. So I may take my chainsaw and cut some of it out. But uh, I'll bring it back when I made some more progress. Doing the finishing touches up on those four trees. And man, I think I've had it cutting trees down today. It was, I mean, those four trees weren't difficult, but you know, they were somewhat, if you follow me. <laughs> Some of the things not easy to pick up. Our wood chipper, automatic wood chipper, has run out of diesel fuel. Well, at least it said zero when I went up there last time, but it was still running. So we just got those three trees there to do. Let's see if I can find out where this little wood chipper thing is. Whoops. Right there, apparently. I could just pick it up and throw it in the back of the logger, but right now... And I got a log sticking way out the side, but luckily we're not going to fire with it. But this field is almost, or fields, are almost ready to get converted into one. Of course, we have to wait until we harvest this field here. But yes, we just got these three trees here to do left. Now, probably we'll do those in the beginning of the next episode. Uh, I need to turn that off, actually. Uh, actually, probably, probably not the beginning, because i got to mow that field and pick up the grass and compact it first. And then we'll do these three trees here. And then that tree over there is going to stay. And then this field is ready to be converted over. Like I said. Uh, the John Deere's off. That can stay there. The way it is. And sure enough, I just saw a log that wasn't in place. Uh, can I pick this up? I uh, sure kind of can but you know what just because I thought I was done and I was uh, getting tired of it I'll do one more so <laughs> that's kind of a big log I could cut it up and uh, probably throw it in the back but sometimes this log grabber doesn't quite grab the logs like you think he does and sometimes it kind of teleports out of the grabber Now I don't use the grabber enough probably to get used to it and know it's all of its little kinks and all that fun stuff, so... Uh, there we go. How about if I move the arm in further? That would probably help. Now, the only thing we may see when I go to harvest is when I cut the upper tree there, I kind of made a mistake. It wasn't watching which angle I was cutting at. And it kind of landed in our field. So I hope I got all the limbs out of there or a combine harvester header is going to have a fun time when it runs into one. I kind of took the John Deere and the log grab and kind of like dragged it in the field and tried to see if I could push anything out. I didn't, so I'm going to pretty much assume that I got most of it oh the traffic on this road really you couldn't see me making a wide turn and stop and let me out here I'll scrape your truck with my logs sticking out how about that so no steam coming out of the wood chipper like I said uh, I kind of ran out of fuel here good thing is the capacity of this thing is, is pretty good so it's going to take all of our logs that we have it's just unfortunate that uh, right now we don't have any more fuel for it but you can see this trailer does hold 200,000 liters and we did get quite a bit now does this silo hold wood chips Does it hold wood chips? Yes, it does. Right there. Wood chips. We're going to store them because usually there's a great demand for them. 
quite often. Price is not the best, so we'll see what happens with them. But it was more fun than rather just cutting up logs and bring them down to the, lo uh, the mill and sell them as logs. We got some wood chips now. Uh, there's actually a couple of great demands going on right now. Potatoes and sunflowers. But then again, we don't have no grain of any kind or any storage of any kind right now to sell as it is. So I don't think we even have enough milk to even do something like that. Uh, we'll just park this right here for now. So yeah, we got tons of liters of wood chips to go. Our bioprocessing plant will be making some fuel. Whoops, wrong button. So yeah, we got, uh, it's only 64% full, so I'm going to assume that it holds, fifth, uh, excuse me, 500,000 liters of wood. That's what I would assume it would do. So yeah, we just need some fuel. So if we go, yeah, I'm hitting the wrong key. If we go to our processing plant, which does not have a, a button to jump to, so you have to jump to our burn. I mean, this this thing, I do like this processing plant better than I had because ours was a little bit OP. But it'll make it. It's already up to 200 liters. It's got 80,000 to go. So maybe what we'll do when I come down tomorrow to do the big grass field, I'll bring the truck down, we'll grab the tank again and grab some fuel somewhere. I can even grab it from, from our cows. Uh, let's go to our fuel storage here. Because, yeah, we got... A lot of fuel here so maybe I'll grab something like 5,000 liters I brought up I brought up like 1200 so yeah maybe 5,000 liters up there because in the future we could be merging more fields which means cutting down more trees which means more wood chips so we could do that but guys it's been a long day a long day I'm only been running at five times the speed here and it's 530 in the afternoon uh, been recording for a while, cutting down trees and stuff. Yeah, that's where the logging trailer came from. That's why I left the door open. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I appreciate you watching as always. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.